I don't know, first off I was just going to jump into it and then I was up there and it didn't look too far so I thought, maybe well give it a shot. 21 year old Brody Scaberis now knows how close he came to death. Could we end up in a wheelchair? He could have been killed. Could have been killed. That's Brody on the roof of a mate's house. Oh no, don't. I don't want to see this, eh? Threatening to do a backflip into the concrete pool below. <laughs> you could die. <laughs> and then what was going Good. through your mind when you were ready to ready to do it? Oh, just full commitment. I was like, if I'm going to do it, I have to do it. Egged on by his mates, Brody takes stupidity to a whole new level. Oh my god! Oh my god! But take another look. A young man just millimetres from disability or death. Do you realise how close you came? If you'd hit your head there, you'd probably be dead. I know. I know. So close. Really close. And how does that make you feel now, though? Sick. What a moron. What a stupid fool. After watching the video posted on YouTube, social commentator Prue McSween says it's alarmingly typical behaviour among young Australian men. We need to look at these people like those coward punchers. You are fools and we don't want to see you doing oh this kind of God. stuff. It's bad for every other kid to see. With internet role models like Perth's Children of Poseidon, is it any wonder young men are filming stunts and putting them online? From jumping into a fire or a cactus bush... Green means go. ..to terrorising Perth drivers with chunks of concrete. At least the only person Brody Scaberis could have killed was himself. Even when I watch it, I still get sick. I still think, what are you doing? My first reaction when I saw that video, my heart was in my mouth. I was just like, oh my God. Sue McLennan is from Head West, WA's Brain Injury Association. They see 400 patients a year, most of them young men. The lifelong consequences are, is brain injury. Um, and associated with a brain injury comes cognitive dysfunction, thinking dysfunction. Last year at Royal Perth Hospital alone, 76 young men were admitted with a significant head injury, another 29 with a spinal injury. All were aged 18 to 26. The potential injury for that young man is catastrophic. Brody's a former tradie and model who says he represented Australia in Taekwondo. After a few drinks, he thought a backflip off a roof would be a good idea. You hear everyone on the video telling him not to do it, he's not going to make it, but I've known him for 14 years that if I tell him not to, he's still going to try it anyways. Brody's mate Callum says even though they were worried, no one thought to stop him. No, nah, I don't know, I just knew we would do it. That's just my mindset because I've known him for that long, he's always been the one to try stuff. If you see something that's going to happen that your friends are potentially doing that you think could be dangerous, step up, say something, speak out, um, look after your brain because it's the only one you've got. And in case you're wondering how far it is from the house to the pool, we measured it. OK, it's 3.14 metres. It looks real far compared to the video. No. After a dressing down from his parents, Brody wants to warn others not to be so stupid. Oh his parents were the ones who were going to be left with a legacy of a, a vegetable, perhaps, or a coffin. You know, it's absurd. Don't do it. That was the silliest thing I've ever done in my life. It's not worth the risk. And if anyone wants to tell you, oh, yeah, I can beat this, don't listen to them. Just, just be sensible.